being an artist is like a journey to build something. And I feel like I'm not building things, I'm just being driven by whatever comes to me. I grew up surrounded by water. Even if sometimes I don't have the urge to go in the water, for me, it's very important to see it because it's really part of me. When I was 11, I started spearfishing with my father. He taught me how to go in the water and catch your own fish. It was very natural for me. I was attracted by the depths. Try to reach something down there. What I love is all this water surrounding me, holding me. I'm away from everything, away from problems, away from humanity. I have a huge feeling of freedom. While I was forming this relationship with water, at the same time, I was dancing with my mother, who was a dance teacher. So the idea of combining these two worlds came in an organic way. When I started uh, doing some images, I always thought this could be something beautiful, uh, taking the movement and bring it underwater. Creativity is really fitting with the way I live, with my travels. Mexico is a place full of history and ancient tradition and beliefs that connects with the oneric world. Everything is inspiring when you travel. The music and the people I meet and the places I go to. You just have to open your heart and your mind to what is beautiful and just let yourself inhale creativity. Cenote is a natural pool of water deep in the jungle. So it's a whole journey to go and find it. So it's kind of an adventure. I love the smell of the forest. I love the sound of the forest. It's really peaceful. I feel part of it, part of the system.
Dancing on land is a way to experience and try things before I go in the water and actually create new movements. I think the movement is more intuitive in the water because you're free to go anywhere, up and down and side and turn. It's like flying. When I dance, when I move underwater, I really feel that I become one, one with the water. Before you are allowed to enter into the cenote, there is an ancient Mayan ritual you are supposed to do. Which blesses you before you go and you enter the underworld. But what's hidden in the underworld is something that's really personal. It's opening to your imaginary. Diving in the cenotes, it's like entering this inner world that is driving me to my creativity. You can build anything, it's a dream place.
In each dive, you really understand something about yourself. You unlock who you are through the places you experience and the depths you experience within. Quand je flotte dans l'eau, je n'ai plus de je n'ai plus de corps, je n'ai plus de limites. Je fais partie intégrante de cet élément qui nous a vu naître.